And here we have some cooked beans, some flour, and some salt. What are we going to do with this? So I'm going to take a mighty fork and I'm just going to mash these beans. If you have a food processor, of course, you could use that. But I kind of want some chunky bits of bean in here. And food processors cost money. And the whole aim of this is to save a bunch of money. And forks are things that most people already have anyway. And this is just a cereal bowl. So no special equipment needed. There, that's a good texture. And now I'm just going to add a little flour. I've measured out a quarter cup, but I'm probably not going to use it all. Probably just about a tablespoon of flour. And I'm going to add a little salt. If I had other seasonings, could I put other seasonings in here? Of course. <laughs> and it would no doubt be better with more and different seasonings in it, but we are using just beans, flour, oil, and salt. And there you go. You have now a dough for a little bean burger. can just form that. into a patty. So I have a cast iron skillet with some of our oil in it that I'm getting nice and hot. And I'm gonna fry our little bean cake, our little bean patty. So here you have a food, a dish that is made of just the four ingredients that I got really cheap at Target. Beans, flour, oil, and salt. Would this be tastier with other additives? Of course, it would be really tasty if you added some garlic and onion, or at least garlic and onion powder, other spices, maybe some herbs. You could fry it in a different kind of fat other than just plain old vegetable oil. You could use bacon grease or any other rendered animal fat. You could use different kinds of beans, of course, or lentils or any other kind of legume that you wanted to use. Possibilities. <laughs> So everything in here is cooked except the flour. Basically all we're doing here is cooking the flour through and crisping our bean cake. And I am only making one right now, but of course you could make a huge batch of these, have them done in advance, and then eat the leftovers throughout the week. Ooh, look at that beautiful color. tiny and rather flat, so it fries up quite quickly. Well, I'm frying this about three minutes per side. I just want to, like I said, cook the flour on the inside and crisp up the outside. That side's nice and crisp. Looks like this side is also nice and crisp, so I'm going to call that done and let's serve it up. So here it is. You could eat it just by itself. Or if you had the time, you could make this Cajun roux. It is just three ingredients, flour, oil, and salt. You don't add the salt when you make the roux, but I added it after the fact. But look, it's kind of like a nice gravy. And you have a little poor man's vegan Salisbury steak. And then if you're feeling really adventurous, you could serve it with a side of tortilla that you made from flour, salt, and water. So, might be hard to believe, but everything you see on this plate was made with just those four very cheap ingredients, flour, salt, oil, and beans. And let's dig in. Hmm. Oh, that is surprisingly really good. The roux really super helps. Wow, I, I would not believe that this was just flour, beans, oil, and salt from tasting it. It's amazing what like frying things in oil can do. It gives it so much complex flavor. This is actually good. I'm really surprised. <laughs> 